All of these successes we've had, we found it growing up in Farragut housing. So I've always had music embedded in me, and uh, I got the name DJ Disciple because I got into gospel music first, and then my friend DJ Jazz exposed me to house music. Well, after he did that, things were never the same, and I started off doing college radio station, WBMB to WHCS and then 91.5 FM. I was known for doing Hunter College parties as well as my start at The Choice. I played at The World and I played at Wild Pitch. So I had a storied background in music and I had a serious love for house music. Uh, through the Hunter College parties, uh, Monty and Steve, um, and you know, I was just blown away by the, the music he was playing. I said, you know what, I gotta get him upstate. And, uh, you know, he came, Syracuse Greek Freak, 89, 90. I remember he dropped, uh, they followed me with a couple other joints. And, I mean, and then I just, just took off from there, you know, always stayed in touch with him. Uh, Zanzibar, remember those days in Zanzibar? Uh, oh man, the list goes on and on the different parties that, you know, and now that he's back home, NYC, you know, it's just a great feeling just to have him back. The time I go back about, what, a good 12 years ago, if not longer, when he first started his radio show at 91.5 FM, WYE Radio, um, I was his engineer, I also inspired him to get better as the years went on and, you know, backing him and all that good stuff and um, he's a great brother and I met him again on the radio station and, well actually I ain't gonna lie, I was a listener first and I made sure one day I went down on the day that he was working at the station to meet him and then we started from that point on and um, I wish him all the best with his, with his um, career and all the best of success man, so God bless. Hey, it's great to know that I'm helping one of the big dogs stay big. It, it, I mean, you know, it's like, it's like giving Hostess the Twinkie. Let's put it like that. It's like giving him the stuff that he needs to make him, him even more successful than what he is. When he said that he was coming back to his roots, the first thing that came to my mind is let me help. You know, because I keep my ear to the ground. I'm always on the grind looking for great new music, very soulful stuff, edgy stuff. And when I get it, I bless them.